Right, I'm just going to quickly go through this new update version 1.1. So when you go on the XP Metal Detectors website on the update section, you're going to notice it says down here version 1.0 still. And when you click on it, it's going to take you to this next page, which is still going to say Deus 2 version 1.0 update instructions. But then underneath, it says version 1.1 update. Uh, I don't know why they didn't just change all this to version 1.1. Uh, but anyway, so this tells us about bugs and fixes. Um, it says we have successfully resolved the issue of remote control rebooting or WS6 freezing in very rare configurations. Uh, I didn't experience this, but I am assuming there was a few people that found this little bug and they've sorted that out. Um, nothing to do with the the way the uh, metal detector performs. Uh, it's literally just a bug fix with the menu freezing up. So on this other improvements, it says the Ferris TID, uh, Ferris target display ID that is, setting is now enabled by default. If you prefer not to display Ferris target IDs, you can turn off the FE TID setting. And so again, it's just a function. It's not actually changing the way the metal detector performs. They've not done anything to change the way it works. So it's literally just a little sweet and a kind of update so that you don't have to keep changing it. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't know why I didn't think about that people would probably want it on more than they'd want it off. But anyway, uh, then it says we have made corrections to the silencer function in programs one, two, four, five, and six. Silencer level zero, one, and two provide the same rejection as in the version 0.71. So they've kind of gone backwards with that because they realized whatever they tweaked with that. People didn't like it because of the way it was dealing with iron, so they've actually taken it back. Uh, they haven't said that. They're, they're just saying it's it's like it was in 0 0.71. It just means they've backdated that part of the update. But all the extra little fun functions that they've stuck in uh, stay in the same. So while high levels from free offer better iron rejection, the program free sent CFT uses different silencer close to version 1.0. So... With the Sensi FT program free, they haven't really done anything with it. Um, they're quite happy with where it is. Um, I don't think they really messed with it much in the version 1.0 from 0.71. So I'm not going to be too worried about changing my Sensi FT program that I set up. I will give it a try. Um, it might just need turning the silencer down a little bit to something else. Um, then it says here, notes, previous version 0 0.6, 0 0.71, and 1.0 are still available online to download on the updater. All other functions and improvements introduced in 1.0, such as audio filter, frequency max, high squared audio, full tones, offset, fast TID, etc., remain unchanged in version 1.1. So that's all they've changed in this update. Um, I mean, you can go and update your machine... Um, to get it to the latest update and give it a try. And if you don't like it, you can always go back uh, to what you did like. I'm going to update my machine. I am going to write down all my settings so that I can just transfer them over. should be pretty straightforward. Uh, so we're going to go and update this again right now. Okay, right. So the first thing you want to do from this page is scroll all the way down to the bottom until you get to update now click on that it will then take you to this page saying connect your device so right so get your three pin lead out for your control unit and plug it into the back of the control unit right so you need to turn your dais on um i've not plugged it into the computer just yet so go into your options go on to settings and then scroll through till you get to your update select on the update confirm yes right once this is on the screen you can't do it until this is ready so make sure that says update then plug your usb into your laptop it will come up it might want you to log in if you haven't logged into the website already and then you just go along and select your version i want deus 1.1 all you can select the 0.71 or 
and then you go across here to update click on update this will take about 20 seconds to do the erasing and then it will start the actual update of the new software it takes another 20 seconds roughly thereabouts so right we're now programming this is in real time and then once it's done it will just restart your machine and just confirm that it's all good it should say that it's all okay at the end of it successful there we go successful all done so just back out on this your control unit a reboot or your ws6 headphones and um that's it right so now i want to see do my headphones need updating because i didn't mention that at the start so these are my there we go so i haven't had to update these to get these to connect to it uh, so i won't need to update the headphones which is good because last time you did right and that is it